Hi everyone, it's Thea here, just here to spill some more tea for you guys, and this time it's about Austin Kroll from Southern Charm. I'm here today to expose why Austin Kroll is most likely to get fired from Summer House and from Southern Charm. If you're watching this video, then you probably already know who Austin Kroll is. Or should I say Austin Troll? Austin Kroll is a member of the cast of Southern Charm, and he's also been featured on the new show on Bravo, Winter House, and he has recently appeared on a few episodes of Summer House. He's been with the Bravo franchise now for quite a while, and there's a reason, I think, personally, that he should be fired and that he could be fired, potentially, because of his actions on some of the shows he's been on. I just want to premise this by saying that I am really not a fan, and you'll probably understand why I'm not a fan once we get into this video more, of Austin Kroll. I do like the shows that he is on, all the shows that he's on, but I do not like Austin Kroll. I think that the way that he has been treating people in general, including men and women, has been despicable on all the shows that he's been on. He seems extremely entitled and lazy and just kind of like a horrible, horrible human being. His actions have time and time again showed that he is not a good person and he feels that he is entitled to behave in a manner which is extremely disrespectful to women and to everyone. But recently, while he was on Winter House, he kind of was extremely disrespectful to two women on the show. He was disrespectful to Lindsay, and he was also disrespectful to Sierra. He basically told Lindsay that he was into her and was kind of like, you know, stringing her along. And then when he got to the winter house, he decided he liked Sierra and he was just going to basically ignore Lindsay and tell her he's not into her. So he kind of pursued Sierra, and at the end, he could tell that Sierra was really into him, and he kind of led her on as well. And then he basically told her that, you know, this is the end when they were leaving, which was kind of gross, but, you know, it's not the first person, he's not the first person to do something like that on a Bravo TV show. Now, where I have a real problem with him is the way he's treated women consistently poorly on all the shows that he's been on. And he did it once again on the show Summer House that he's currently on, featured on like a few episodes. So this time he caused an issue with Lindsay and Sierra once again. What he did basically was he got into the Summer House. He was invited by, I believe, Lindsay or Sierra. And he basically this time was trying to get with Sierra and then he didn't want her anymore. And then he tried, he basically hooked, I would say, not hooked up, but they were like kind of making out for a bit, um, Lindsay and um, Austin. And this was on Lindsay's birthday, so she didn't really take it very seriously, but this really angered Sierra. And this is exactly what Sierra, uh, Lin um, Sierra did to Lindsay in the winter house, but now in the summer house, the, revo the roles have been reversed. But I feel like well, Austin loves, he's like a creator of chaos. He loves to cause issues between people and particularly women. Because on Winter House, not Winter House, on Southern Charm, he basically had a lot of issues with a girl who was dating Chelsea. He was lazy and he treated her like crap. And they eventually kind of broke up. And then he also did this with another woman he was dating. And then also with... A, another woman called Madison. So he was dating this woman called Madison, and she actually had a young son. And the way he was acting around the son was really, like, gross and questionable. He really never spent any time with her son, and it, it was it was horrific. The way he is as a person is horrific. It feels like he was raised by animals. His parents seem really lovely, and they keep giving him money towards his business. Um, he opened up a business, Trop Hop, which was um, a beer, a beer like brand that he created. And um, he called it Trop Hop. And I believe that he had a few distribution deals with a few different like bars and 
restaurants in the Charleston area. I can't imagine that his family are happy with his behavior in any capacity after watching all these shows. I feel like they'd be they would definitely be embarrassed. I would if he was my, you know, brother or child or whatever. So this latest episode of Summer House, he basically he wasn't in the episode, but the mess that he created between Sierra and Lindsay kind of like spilled over and there was like a physical altercation, Sierra and Danielle, between Sierra and Danielle, because Danielle was sticking up for her friend, Lindsay. And there was like glass shattered, wine thrown, and it was like horrific. Just over this disgusting, despicable human being, this troll of a man, Austin. I feel that Sierra is really young and this is a learning experience for her and hopefully she learns from this and picks better men. I, I do feel like Sir Sierra has like a lot of daddy issues and maybe that's why she goes for men that treat her poorly and, you know, don't really want much to do with her. But I feel like she may grow and get out of that. But Austin picks these women who are so vulnerable and treats them poorly and he gets away with it time and time again. And I feel like Bravo should like fire him because this is the way he treats other people is disgusting and I'm for one not going to be watching any shows that Austin is going to be featuring on in the future and I feel like that as women and as people we should be basically boycotting any show that he's on because he is a disgusting human being but I really want to know what you guys think of the situation do you agree with me do you feel like Austin should not be on any Bravo TV shows anymore or do you feel like I am just like over exaggerating and that he is a great guy or that he hasn't done anything as bad as other people have on Bravo. I want to know your thoughts. Just to remind you that all the opinions in this video are my own and everything that I've said and heard is alleged. If you have any other video ideas for me, please let me know in the comments below and I will do my best to find out as much information as I can about those topics. You can contact me on Twitter or Instagram at Thea Zyfe. Take care of yourselves out there, guys.